Hi, welcome to question 23. And if you are here listening, you may very well have fallen for a class of GRE trap when it comes to percent versus actual number. Always watch out. How is that the case here? Well, Alice earns D dollars and has T percent taken off. And so you say, well, therefore, it must be either 100 T or T. The thing is we have to convert, and this is converting in the wrong direction. This is making the percent massive. This is forgetting to convert the percent, which is the trap a lot of people forget to do. Remember, percent is not the same thing as the actual amount. And so what is the amount? Well, if we take a percent of something, let's say we take 30%. I multiply 30% by 100. That's a massive number. So that's 3,000. And if I put 30% where T is, it's 1 minus 30, which is negative. Oh, poor Alice and her negative money. So not, not the, obviously not the answer. Because we have here the percent, 30%, is translated into decimals, a decimal, as 0 0.30. Notice how we take that decimal and move it over twice. Therefore, instead of just having T, we have to take the decimal and move it over twice. And that's going to give us right here 0.01T and the original equation D. 1 minus 0.01t. Now, if you got this wrong, you should also remember that you can plug in numbers. Because if you plug in numbers like d is 100, then t equals 30%. And you do this, you're not going to end up choosing c, because you'll say, oh my god, it's a negative number, something's wrong. And you're very likely, by choosing these numbers, to realize that the answer is 